So let's examine question number two, okay? So we've already done question number one. Let's look at number two. The great thing about number two is you always have the extract in front of you, of course, because you have read through the insert and you have highlighted the relevant bits of the insert, you can also use this insert to help you, okay? So of course, it's this paragraph that's been selected, which you can see here, okay? So this question, of course, asks you how the writer uses language to describe the Hartop family. This is worth eight marks, okay? This is important to pay attention to because to be honest, only write uh, two separate paragraphs for this question, okay? Use the point evidence explanation method in order to write this response. So given the question is asking you to talk about how language is used to describe the Hartop family, I will probably go back to what I've already highlighted, okay? And I'll select that. And as I mentioned, you only want to write two paragraphs, so just pick out two pieces of evidence, and then you would have the first piece of evidence in your first pill paragraph, and then your second piece of evidence in your second peel paragraph. I would suggest selecting the heart of quotation as your first one, okay? So this is how heart of the father is described, okay? And he's described as a thin angular man with a starved face. Again, here it gives him a very mean expression. I would suggest the second thing to focus on is perhaps how Alice is described here, okay? So Alice, as you can see here, and then she has her arms flat as though ironed against her side. Okay, so we can see here, this is a pretty miserable family. They seem very slim, they seem very timid, okay? Now, of course, the question itself is asking you to talk about how language is used to describe the heart of family. So you want to consider language uh, points you can make. So here, I would suggest in terms of the language point you can make for the heart of evidence, the idea of him being a thin, angular man, so thin and angular, and then starved faced. These are all adjectives. Okay, so that would be the first language feature. And of course, this illustrates how Hartop seems quite starved, but also it illustrates how ominous and threatening he appears. With Alice, you have a simile here, as though iron flat against her side, okay? And what the simile does is it portrays Alice as quite timid, very fearful, quite frightened, okay? So now that we've got our adjectives to do with uh, Hartop, the father, and we've got our simile related to Alice, let's now write our response. Of course, I'm going to start my first pill paragraph here, but then I'm going to continue my second pill paragraph on this trusty piece of paper, okay? So let's go back to the questions. How does the writer use language to describe the Hartop family, okay? So I'm going to start off with the first quotation, which is to do with how Hartop was, uh, was driving a thin angular man starved faced, okay? So let's start with our point. Now, use the bit of the question to begin your answer, okay? So you could say the writer effectively uses language to describe how thin and starved every body is in the hard top family as we can see the father seems emaciated okay so here, emaciated means really uh, starved, really skinny, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for this piece of evidence. When you're introducing evidence, so just to be clear, this is my point, okay? I've talked about how the writer effectively uses language and I'm talking about how they seem really starved, quite emaciated, okay? And especially now I'm gonna focus on the father. Now, with my evidence, I'm gonna try to embed my quotation. I'm not gonna write the whole thing out. I'm gonna focus mainly on him being a thin angular man with, star with a starved face, okay? So how you could embed it is you could state that heart up, is portrayed as being extremely skinny as he is, and then we put the speech marks, a thin, comma, 
angular man uh, and then we can then put ellipsis with so I've put ellipsis here as you can see close my speech marks with and then I'm going to open again a so I'm going to open my speech marks once more starved faced okay or you could say um, he was a thin angular man having a so I'm going to cross out with and I'm going to replace that with having a starved faced okay so let's just be clear, this is the point. The writer effectively uses language to describe how thin and starved everybody is in the Hartop family, as we can see, the father seems emaciated, okay? Really skinny, starved. Hartop is portrayed as being extremely skinny as he is, open speech marks, a thin angular man, ellipsis, closed speech marks, having a speech marks, starved face, okay? So this is now including these two, uh, this entire quotation. So we've got our evidence. Now let's have our explanation. Within the explanation, I would suggest adding in a language technique. So here we could say, the writer uses the adjectives thin close speech marks uh, angular and starved okay so as you can see here with the adjectives i've also created again thin angular and starved as three separate words okay because i'm focusing in on these adjectives to illustrate how skinny and miserable the entire hardtop family appears. The, and then maybe we could add here some word level analysis, okay? So, you could add maybe in addition to the adjectives, you could state the noun man focuses our attention on her top as the head of the household and his thin appearance seems to represent just how under fed they all are okay so here's my explanation just to be clear the explanation is the writer uses the adjectives thin, angular, and starved to illustrate how skinny and miserable the entire heart of family appears. The noun, so this is the word level analysis, which is still part of my explanation. The noun, man, focuses our attention on Hartop as the head of the household and his thin appearance seems to represent just how underfed they all are, okay? So that's my explanation. Now I need to link back to how the writer uses language to describe the Hartop family, okay? So hence, the author, uses powerful adjectives and then of course you can also borrow a few of the words that you've used in your point okay to reveal just how thin and starved hard top and by extension his family appear to be okay so let's go back to the link okay so you've got your point evidence explanation now the link hence the author uses powerful adjectives to reveal just how thin and starved heart up and by extension his family appear to be going back to the question okay now let's proceed so this is the first pill paragraph let's proceed to the second pill paragraph okay so again, using a bit of the question in terms of how language is used to describe the heart of family, given that this is your second point, you could say, secondly, the writer, and this is, if you remember the quotation relating to Alice, okay? So we're gonna go back to this quotation relating to how Alice, she seems to have her arms very flat as though ironed against her side, okay? So secondly, the writer,
This is my second peel paragraph, okay? So this is my point. Secondly, the writer powerfully uses language to describe just how timid and fearful some members of the Hartop family are, as Alice is depicted as quite timid and fearful. I've mentioned Alice here, but I've also made sure to mention the Hartop family, okay? Making sure that I am answering the question and the key words which I've highlighted within the question. Now let's move on to the piece of evidence. And as I mentioned, the evidence that we're gonna use is her arms flat as though ironed against her side, okay? So now let's introduce the evidence and always try to embed your quotations, okay? So you can state, Alice appears Here's the evidence. So Alice is, appears to be quite stiff and uncomfortable as her arms, okay, so this is in speech marks, are flat as though ironed against her side, okay? So as you can see here, I have embedded my quotation, okay? So you've got my point, I've got my evidence here. Now let's move on to the explanation. And as we know, with the explanation, we're gonna be talking about the fact that this is a simile and maybe also the word level analysis you can mention is you can pick out maybe another uh, word, for example, the noun arms or the pronoun her or even for instance you could talk about um the repetition of these pronoun okay so this pronoun which of course highlights just how timid how uncomfortable alice seems to be okay so let's move on to the explanation the writer's use of simile Okay, so here's the explanation. I've mentioned language, okay? Remember, simile is a language point. And I've also mentioned another language point in my word level analysis, which is the pronoun her, okay? So the writer's use of simile depicts the Hartog family as tense and fearful, as Alice appears to be extremely uncomfortable despite being in the presence of her parents. The pronoun her makes us focus on how uncomfortably Alice is sitting in the van, okay? She doesn't seem like she belongs. So now let's link it back to the question. And again, in your link, you can also borrow some of the wording from your second point. Therefore, Okay, so I would say that is my link. Therefore, the Hartop family is depicted as quite sad and timid. Alice appears extremely ill at ease and she is portrayed as not even fitting in with the family. She seems scared of her parents. So I would say that is the second point. So let's just be clear. Going back to question number two, I would suggest you wanna write one pill paragraph as you can see here, and then the second pill paragraph, and then you move on, okay? Because it's eight marks, you don't need to do any more, just move on. So that is it. If you enjoyed this style of video where I give you a more direct demonstration of exactly how to go through each question piece by piece, do let me know, okay? Because I'd be more than happy to produce more videos in this style and more lessons within this framework, okay? So if you have enjoyed this video, do make sure you let me know and I'll be more than happy to produce more videos in a similar format. Thank you so much for listening.